Today I'm going to show you this really cool metal called gallium. It looks a bit like mercury and it turns into a liquid at about 30 degrees centigrade, that's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's often used in the production of semiconductors and in some LEDs. And when I got mine it came in a plastic test tube like this. You can see at room temperature it's solid and it won't flow out at all. So I'm putting mine in a bowl of warm water to raise the temperature. After a few minutes if you take it out you can see it's actually turned liquid. I'm tipping this out straight onto my hand which I've read is safe to do so but if you try this you may want to consider wearing gloves. And you can see this core from the centre of the test tube which didn't have time to melt yet. It feels a little weird and it sort of globs together in the palm of your hand. I decided to pour this out onto a plate to let it cool and see what it looks like. You can see as it's cooling it starts to form these sort of crystal lumps too. It also stuck to my hand a bit which you can easily just scrape back together. It has left this grey discolouring on my hand which doesn't seem to wipe off easily. But if you use some soap and warm water it cleans off ok. I'm putting this core straight into the bowl of warm water to melt it down. After a couple of minutes it looks molten. So I used a skewer to give it a poke. It all bunches together under the water and you can move it around and play with it. If I put my hand in to try and pick it up it feels really weird. And you just can't get a grip of anything. So I'm going to use this syringe to suck it up out of the bowl. And you can see it all getting sucked up. Pretty cool huh? There's also some water trapped in the syringe which you can turn upside down and squeeze out if you want to. Or just squirt it all out into the bowl for fun so you can suck it back up again. And I'll be using this in a minute. If we take a look at the plate, it's gone really solid. And I can't even pick or scratch it off. So I'm tipping some warm water over it to melt it. Then after a minute or so I'm clumping it back together so I can suck it up in my syringe. It's really good fun to play with, just squeezing it out and sucking it back up. And it almost feels like some kind of extraterrestrial material that just puddles up in your hand. And if you do spill some on the table it'll probably stain it so you need to bear that in mind. I wiped this off and used some warm water and soap to scrub it. You should avoid getting it on your clothes and it's also corrosive to aluminium. I wanted to see if I could use it to make a rough copy of a key. So I took a lump of plasticine and this key from a padlock which I pushed in to make a rough mould. I was keeping the gallium warm in a bowl of water so I sucked it up 
and squirted it into the mould. You can see it doesn't really flow into the corners of the mould because the surface tension is quite high, so I don't think it'll work very well, but we'll see what happens. I'm also squirting some onto this paper plate to cool and spreading it out a bit. And the rest of it I'm just squirting into this bowl of water which I'm leaving to cool down. I left it all at room temperature for a few hours to let it solidify. If we have a look at the paper plate, you can see if I bend the plate it peels off quite easily. And we've got this really cool solid shape of metal. Where it's thick, it's really quite hard and difficult to bend. And in the middle, where it's thin, I can twist it and break it pretty easily. If we take a look at the key I cast, You can see it has got some of the features, but it is pretty rough. It's quite cool, but you obviously wouldn't be able to use it. It didn't really get any definition of the teeth. And the pieces we left to cool in the water did come out pretty well. Some nice shiny surfaces and interesting shapes. So I decided to melt these bits down again in some fresh warm water. But this piece I decided to dip in so we can actually watch it melt and drop down into the bowl. I thought it would also be fun to see how it melts with a lighter. This time, instead of trying to make a key, I decided to try making the padlock. So I made a basic mould in my plasticine, sucked up some gallium, and filled in the mould. I think this will work a lot better than the key. But unfortunately, I didn't have quite enough gallium to fill the entire mould, so I had to make it a bit smaller. At the moment I'm leaving it to cool, but you'll be able to see what it looks like in my next video about gallium, which will be coming out soon. If you've got any suggestions for something you'd like to see me make out of gallium, you can let me know in the comments below. And if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel and want to get notified every time I launch a new video, you can click the little notification bell by my subscribe button and tick the box. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.